How's it going, people? Scott, and I'm back with another video, and this time, this is my first sneaker pickup of 2020, 2020, um, it's a throwback, I haven't hit any of the new stuff yet, just yet, just yet, um, had my eye on those You're the Rat question mids, but hopefully StockX comes through and get those for below retail, but anyway, I got this off eBay, and you see the title of the video, and it came with the special box. Scrap, back of the scrap. I'll just take out the one with the uh, with the laces. And the guy did an excellent job of um, packing these up with the paper and everything. So, here you have it. The Gel Light 3 collaboration with Wale. Mm, Wale's music. Villa. And this is called the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, it's the Gel Light Saga, Gel Light 3, sorry, Gel Light 3 silhouette, but it has an all over gold and it, it's a leather, but it's like a rough leather to represent the Intercontinental Championship. Obviously, you got hints of that blue. On the side right here. I'm not sure if there's any 3M, but I'm assuming since it's a runner, it probably does have 3M. Hence of the blue. You have the Adidas uh, symbol. The Adidas symbol. Oh, my God. The ACIT symbol right here with the gold and the hints of the teal and the black background. You got more teal in the Gel Light 3 right here. Then move around. Got more gold. Aces in that teal blue gel right here with the gold and the black. More that hard-ish gold leather, which makes sense for the It's supposed to represent the belt. So soft leather would have made sense. And um, it gives all that rough belt feel. Uh, split tongue, as is with any gel like three. Black came with black laces. You got finna eating some popcorn. Black midsole with the teal speckles in it. Shoe is. I think the guy wore this once, or a person wore this once. But um uh, they didn't step in any gravel because the midsole, it has stress lines in it, or they maybe came from uh time. I'm not sure. Either way, the sneaker still is in really great condition. Came with three things, a pin and a sticker. One has EBM, e, uh, EBM, and the other way is the shoe pin. So you have two sets of laces. You got one with the teal and the black hits, and then you have just a straight teal shoe screen. Um, been chasing this shoe since last year. Finally caught it for a steel deal. Do one at 74. I said, what about that 50 though? What about that 50? And he was like, cool, free shipping. You know it. You know it. Happy to have this in the collection. Already ordered. Look, you don't even have to ask, what shirt did I get to go with the Intercontinental Championship Aces? If you said me is, maybe. I but Miz has, it really not having been Miz with a lot of respect. They kind of shit on his legacy. Who has been a great Intercontinental Champion besides the Miz? HBK? Mm, nah, nah, nah. I, I saw this meme on uh, Facebook. Wore 15 gold chains in the projects of Opalaka and walked out untouched. The greatest Intercontinental Champion in history. If you don't know who that is, Shame on you. That's the bad guy, Razor Ramon. I got his shirt. The uh, well, you'll just see it when he comes in. Anyway, very pleased with this shoe. Can't wait to rock it. Maybe I'll probably rock this to like uh, SmackDown. I'll probably go see SmackDown when it comes to Atlanta. 
definitely rock with the Razor Ramon shirt. Shoe is a definite standout, eye catching to say the least. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shoe is in still great condition. Pretty much has it. This has a new a new car smell. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Almost left without saying or showing you this. On the inside, on the insole, it has ASICs in that intercontinental belt form right there. Uh, anything else? Uh, size tag on the side. Went with a size 12. As a matter of fact, let me try this on. This isn't going anywhere out of the collection. So let me go and try this bad boy on. Okay, perfect fit. Okay, okay. Per perfect. Per perfect. Uh, yeah, man. Let me fuck I, I'm not gonna do this shit. That shit's kind of suspect. Anyway, just know these things look good on my feet. Probably a little tight though. Hard to, you know. I'll, I'll remember that next time I get the gel light, an A6 to get a 12.5 cut. Is kind of tight right here, so I know with socks this is going to be sort of a, a tighter fit. Although, although, might be because the laces are tight, tight. I'm probably going to switch the black laces for the teal. No, not those. The teal and the black. I think just those better because you already got so much black, and then you pop, uh, open it up with this teal laces. So anyway. I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. If you have this shoe, let me know. Let's talk about it in the comment section. If you don't, and you see it for a steel deal, I think they're going for like 80 on GOAT. Um, just search around. Just search around. This isn't a hype shoe, although it could be. Um, it should be, but it's not because I don't know, people don't like Wale. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I was going to get the Ronnie, the Ronnie Gold one, the Ronnie Fly Gold. But since I have this, there's no point to get. With gold shoes, you only need, like, really one. I would say two, but it'll have to be, like, it It can't be, you can't have two gold runners. You have to have, like, I hate to say, like, a Jordan gold or, like, a Yeezy gold. You can't have, like, two models that are kind of similar. So, um, yeah, I just went with this one instead of the uh, Kith one. So, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, A6, Wale, Billa, Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, anyway, catch you guys later. Peace out.